It is my honor to introduce Noah Matthews Witowski. Noah is 15 and is the first actor with Down syndrome to receive a major role in the feature Disney film, Peter Pan and Wendy. With, <laughs> where Noah plays slightly the leader of the Lost Boys. Noah has joined us all the way from England. Without further ado, Noah Matoski. Hi, my name is Noah Matthews Matowski, and I'm all the way from England to talk to all of you about how I a part of a lost boy in Peter Pan and Wendy. I became Disney's first actor with Down Syndrome. I've always been crazy about film. When I started high school, they asked me what I wanted to do during five years' time. I told them it was my ambition to be a famous actor and live in LA. <laughs> Two years later, the first part of that dream has come true. So how did that happen? I should say from a very early age, I would love to perform and make people laugh. I also love music and two years ago, I just started to learn piano. One of my favorite things I like to practice most days. When my parents realized I was quite good at being in the spotlight, they signed me up to a talent agency. My first job was to be a model for a big clothing company in the UK. Shortly after this, I noticed American casting named Deborah Zane. My agent called me and said I'd been asked to audition for the new Disney film. I'll never forget the day we got a phone call because it was on the same day our school closed for lockdown. Over that year, I made lots of self-tapes for the part. My whole family got involved. My dad played Captain Hook, my sister played Wendy, and my mum filmed us. I kept getting through the next round of auditions, and I knew I really, really wanted the world. They were auditioning kids from all over the world for the Lost Boys. I was determined. After eight months for my first audition, I received the coup to say I got a part. I think I cried a bit. I was so happy. I spoke with a director and he gave me the role of Slightly, the captain of Lost Boys. It, it was a dream come true. I went to film in Canada for six months. I went there with my mum for the first three months, then she got tired of me. <laughs> and my dad came out to look after me as my mum went back to look after my sister Lola. It was so hard being away from my sister for so long. But I really loved Vancouver. Most of the lost boys live in the same apartment block with a gym downstairs and a swimming pool on the roof. It was awesome. I never lived in Big City before. I love a few of the skyscrapers from my bedroom. My first day on set was very exciting. I given my own my name on the door. 
We had a TV, a shower, a frisk, and a seating area with a fireplace. We met our director, David Lowry, for the first time and I tried on our costumes. My timetable for the first week was something like this. Monday, treasure hunt. Tuesday, stunt training. Wednesday, sword fighting. The best shop ever. <laughs> then I'm in my t-shirts because even if you're still making a big Disney film, you still have to do your schoolwork. <laughs> we were always running between the set and the school room. Sometimes the paparazzi were hiding in the bushes, so I had to cover our costumes in big black coats. I remember one day we had a birthday party in the school trailer. And the Lost Boys ate blue birthday cake. When we went back to filming, we all had blue tons. <laughs> the parents had to brush them clean. <laughs> One of the happiest memories is the Disney makeup trailer, where we were all joke and sing around. I loved it. We used to sing, You're welcome for Moana. I know it's a hard life, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> I've never been on a film set before, so it was pretty exciting. It was enormous. They built Neverland and flooded the studio with water to make school walk. My favourite scenes were on the pirate ship. It was a full size ship expressly made for the film. I filmed the ship scenes with Sue Law, who plays Captain Hook. After a long, uh, after a very long week of filming, Sue hired an ice cream van and drove it it on set to give us some, um, to give ooh, ice creams. Sue gave me a pirate scarf. And to note that said, great working with you, Noah. In the last month, the whole crew traveled to New Finland, an island of the east coast of Canada. It was awesome, a one of a kind, biggest adventure of all. We went on a way watching tour and filmed on some wild places. Oh, so sad saying goodbye to everyone at the rap party. When I come back home, I was quite a hero. Everybody wanted my autograph. The London premiere w was the, one of the best nights of my life. I was so proud to see my name in the credits. To quote Peter Pan himself, it's an awfully big adventure. I, att I attend a mainstream school. I was their first student leader with Down syndrome. My sister Lola was one of the student leaders there. I wanted to try for it too. So I gave up a speech about what I should do to do improve things at my school. I was honoured to say last week I won the vote and I'm now a student leader. <laughs> One day my name will be engraved on the wooden plaque of the student leaders next to my sisters. So I'm here to tell you, don't let anyone say you can't do something. If you have a dream, go and follow it. Don't let Down syndrome hold you back. Turn into a positive, decide what you want from life. Then go and do it. Dreams to come true. The end. Mm -hmm.